This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, let's talk about one of the other headlines that happened here that has remained a mystery. It happened on March 24th, 1987. You guys are doing a TV taping in Lincoln, North Carolina. Uh, Ron and Jimmy Garvin would pick up a win over Bobby Eaton and Dennis Condry. And that would be Condry's last appearance for 18 months. Now, just to add some context to all of this, Stan Lane first showed up or was first mentioned uh, on February 28th on pro saying that he's going to be a part of the promotion. He's going to show up on the WTBS show, um, on March 14th. And he would even happen to tag with Bobby that day, but it felt like maybe just a one-off, but by the 28th, just four days after Condry ha- makes his last appearance, Stan Lane is now the new member of the midnight express. He's going to replace Condry. And this remained a mystery for a long, long time. Dennis Condry broke his silence a couple of years ago, talking about leaving the Midnight Express. He says, we had an offer, a great offer. I thought we couldn't refuse. Vince McMahon got in contact with us. He said, I'm going to fly you guys up. We told him we were not interested because we're making good money here in the Carolinas. He said, I'll double it. I said, okay. We got on the plane and flew up there. The Crockett's found out about it and they didn't like it. Dusty comes in and asks, are we leaving or staying? And we thought we did this on the sneak. We thought we were sneaking around. Kelly Blanchard went to the airport and saw us fly in. And he told Dusty, we made a deal with Vince while we were there in New York. Jimmy and Bobby changed their minds and decided they didn't want to go. I told them, I wish they would have told him. Vince wanted all three of us. No different. Bobby had a couple of kids in school. Jimmy had bought a house. I bought a house too. I think it scared them. Now, Bobby Eaton would say in a shoot interview years ago, quote, Dennis let me out of the car one night and said, see you tomorrow. And then I didn't see him for two years. And he said that Dennis never told him why he left and never talked about it. And he figured he didn't think it was anybody's business. Now it's also come out that at that time, Dennis had some problems going on at home. He would ultimately wind up going, find himself going through a divorce. And I don't know, maybe the trappings of the road caught up with him. What did you hear when all of a sudden one of the great tag teams was split in half and nobody knew where the other half went or why? (sighs) One of the strangest things that I've ever encountered. It's like one day he was there, no inkling that anything was wrong. And the next day he just wasn't. And there was a few days that elapsed, and I'm pretty sure it's probably between one television taping and another, and then suddenly Stan Lane was there. And, and it's, you know, Bobby was a very private guy. If he considered that Dennis's personal business, if he knew anything, he wouldn't have told you about it because that's the way Bobby was. Uh, no one ever gave me like here's what happened it's like no one knew now i guess on that inner circle they knew and that sounds like you got a couple of different stories there um tully telling dusty that's the first i've ever heard that you've never heard that story before i swear i've never heard that before he just he saw him at the airport is that what it was come flying back from there that's what Dennis believed. Did you ever hear that they met with Vince? Never did. Wow. I'll tell you the timeline is curious because again, Dennis's last date, uh, that he made for Jim Crockett was four days prior to WrestleMania three. So March 24th, man, that's a big deal. Um, the timing is curious and it still remains a mystery. We got to pin down Dennis as from what I understand, he lives here in town, just right up the road from me. We got to, uh, get him on the show sometime, talk about the good old days and get to the bottom of, Hey man, what was going on? Um, but man, there's a, there's a lot of moving parts here in professional wrestling in March of 87 with Ole out Lex is in Stan Lane, stepping into Condry shoes. And now we're getting ready for, uh, the big tag team tournament. This is going to be an interesting show as we get ready for next week to cover April 87. Is it not? 
Absolutely. I, and again, I am one, you've got my curiosity up. I would love to know the Dennis Condor story. Yeah, we got to get to the bottom of that this year for sure. Because we were, we were on fire. The company was yeah. on fire. Love to know, love to know. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.